I'm Jim Hagerman and this is my lab. Today's episode we're going to be talking about eliminating noise in phono stages. Now not the phono stage itself but within the system, right? Noise can be coupled in from all kinds of different sources from other equipment, lights, refrigerators, all kinds of offending sources and phono stages are very high gain so they amplify the tiniest of signals you know here this is my listening system in the lab so I do all my testing here you know the signal off the cartridge is tiny you know it's five millivolts for a moving magnet it's one-tenth that or less for a moving coil which is what I'm running here so it takes a lot of gain gain of a thousand to get it up to listening levels so, how there's always going to be a noise floor from the piece of a, a phono stage, the equipment, and that's hiss. You should always have a very nice benign hiss that's you know easy to listen to, and you can hear below it, right? There should be no buzz or hum or other offending non-musical things. The hiss is always going to be there. In fact. I recorded hiss using this and what you're going to hear is just the sound of the 47k loading resistor and that sounds like this okay not that loud I know that was amplified but that is a very nice noise floor hiss All right so when you're playing a record and you put the needle in the leading groove or the lead out or between songs that should be as quiet as your system gets, right? You should hear that noise and not your phono stage hiss. The phono stage hiss should be below that. And if so, you're doing great. You're going to have an outstanding system. So, once again, hiss sounds like this. Okay, my first recommendation when trying to track down what the problem might be with your system is to wear headphones, right? I do this when I test equipment here. I test everything that comes through, right? I plug it in, I test it, this thing's on by the way, and I listen just to the noise floor so I know if everything's working properly or not, you know, plus, plus the test signals. So, with headphones on, you don't have to go back to the speaker, right? So just turn it up, and listen to nothing but the noise floor, whether it's hiss, hum, buzz, whatever it might be. Then you can go through and try and figure out what the offending source is, right? Number one is hum. Hum is like the worst source of noise, and it's very intrusive. And that comes from external magnetic fields, usually from other pieces of equipment, right? And what does hum sound like? It sounds like this. Right? That's annoying. You don't want that in your system. Okay, and it's usually from magnetic fields. And the best way to track that down is by moving your phono stage, you know, around, turning it, you know. So orientation and proximity to other pieces of equipment will tell you what the offending source is. Now I'm probably getting a lot of magnetic fields from my oscilloscope here getting coupled into the inputs. So. You can't see it on the scope, but you could probably, if you were listening, you would hear hum come through there, right? So that's how you track those things down, right? Look for power transformers. They need to get as far away from your turntable and phono stage and the wiring. Okay, number two is buzz. Same thing, but now we're talking electric fields, not magnetic. And buzz sounds like this. Right? That's horrible. You don't want that. Now, the usual cause of this is a missing earth ground, right? You need a connection to earth, you know, and you'll always see ground lugs on the back of your phono stage. That's to connect to the turntable, but this thing needs a ground too. And that either comes through the power cord or from the line stage or power amplifier, and then they provide the earth ground. Now, if you, if you still have a buzz, then you know, where is the uh, offending electric field coming from? Usually they're everywhere, so it's hard to find out. So do the finger test. Touch 
touch your chassis, touch the ground, touch the RCA shield of your cable while, while you're listening to the noise floor. And that's how you track down which piece is missing a ground, okay? And then you need to add grounds to try and quiet it down. Now, usually you do this with all other equipment off, okay? Just your phono stage, your receiver, and the turntable, right? Turn off the CD player, the streamer, everything else, right? Just try and one, do as little as possible, and that will help you track down the offending source. And then, you, you know, it's just a matter of distance or location and grounding, okay? There's a new one, number three here, modern communications, Wi-Fi and cell phones calls a pulsing or thumping noise, and it sounds like this. Okay, you may, you may have heard that before. Now that, you know, that's Wi-Fi. You, to get rid of that, you gotta get, move all the Wi-Fi antennas and cell phones away from your turntable and phono stage, right? Just distance is your friend. That's how you solve that problem. Uh, another one is called Crackle, and well, I tried to make it. Crackle sounds like this. Okay, it's, you, you know what crackling is. It's, that's not a, the best take. I tried to make that. That's a bad connection, right? That's a broken interconnect or a loose connection, bad socket on a tube, right? So that loose connection gives you that crackling sound. So look for that. You know, most of the time it's going to be a bad interconnect. And okay. now there's a few types of noises that are really hard to get rid of because they're actually in your phono stage. So that it's not something you can do about placement. You know. One is voices. If you're hearing voices, it's from a nearby radio station or shortwave or right something and if there's not proper RF filtering on the front end of your phono stage especially when it you know before it hits the first semiconductor junction like a transistor or an op amp if you don't filter those radio frequencies out then it can demodulate and then with a ton of gain after that you know you'll start to hear voices there's no real fix for that. You can try ferrite beads on the turntable cables, you know, a clamp over that, that might help, but usually it's just a sign of your phono stage design and there's not much you can do. So anyway, use headphones, track the noise down. There's a paper uh, list below that you can also reference. So till next time.